Hand come in, get his first save with the Indians, look good as you thought he would, but talked about the Yankees, talked about the Red Sox done today. Are the Indians standing pat? They're not done, and uh, there's still some conversation going on between them and the Orioles about Adam Jones. Now, Adam, I think, would fit with this team very, very well in center field. They've had one of the worst collective OPSs among their center fielders of any team in baseball. I think Adam would bring a better bat in center field. I think his positioning would improve with Cleveland, so his metrics and his defensive play would, would get better. And also the leadership. For a team that's been to the World Series in Cleveland but not won it, Adam is a leader among leaders. He was a leader on the WBC team for Team USA. I think he's a perfect fit in that clubhouse. I think Terry Francona would love Adam Jones on his team. I, I knew you'd get WBC in some it way. It took me how many minutes, guys? I mean, that's 19. 27 29. minutes into the show. That was that's what I had in the pool. Do you know what though? I, I'd say the the leadership quality, and that that's why you know not only Cleveland, I think Philadelphia would yes. be a spot too for 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 Jones. Great call. But but again, the, the Cleveland Indians, if they went out and got him, I mean that that kind of completes yeah. everything they need. The American League is just stacked. It All is stacked. The top but there's got to be a National League team in the World Series, right? There's Which is why the NL team should be bold, because yeah. there's an opportunity there. There's You're not right. a clear favorite. Well, that's not the Western Conference in the NBA. They just, no matter who's the Eastern <laughs> Conference. All right? You see the numbers there. Red Sox projected rotation right there. Quite a rotation, uh, especially those top three guys pitching very well this season. You see Drew Pomerantz and Nathan Ivaldi could go back and forth for number five. Here is Dave Dombrowski, general manager on the move. We've had some starting pitching injuries. Um, he gives us depth in that regard. He will step into the rotation for us at this time. He also can be a guy that can slip into the bullpen as time goes on also. He's been part of the pennant race in the AL East. He's pitched in New York. Uh, he's been part of the experiences. He's a guy that fit for us. We thought it was appropriate to move quickly rather than to wait for uncertainties. So we figured let's just go ahead and try to get the deal done. Of course, come back to Tommy John surgery, still pitching very hard, throwing the ball very hard. How did this all come about? Well, the key thing for the Red Sox was they knew they had to get some depth. You heard Dave Dombrowski talk about that. Only three pitchers right now on their active roster, we talked about the big three there, uh, have actually made 10 or more starts this season. The bottom two spots in that rotation have had to cycle through. Eduardo Rodriguez, that's been the big injury for them now. He is still in a walking boot. Mm. They don't know when he's going to be ready to pitch. Steven Wright on the DL as well. So this is a guy that I believe can be part of their playoff rotation. Even Drew Pomerantz, we saw him on the graphic there. Eric, a lot of injuries in his history as well. So I think to hedge their risk, of all the health issues at the back end of that rotation, and even David Price had some issues during the course of the season as well. I think you had to get, find somebody that you could trust in the American League East. You heard Dave talk about the New York Yankees experience, AL East. That's a big box to check when you, the Boston Red Sox make a trade of this magnitude. Well, and one of the reasons you, you acquire him is not necessarily just for the playoffs, but to make sure that you maintain that lead over the Yankees because you're running him out there every fifth day especially on that ball club. I mean, there are games where he has no-hit stuff going into the fifth, sixth inning. He has that kind of arm. So getting him, yes, playoffs maybe, but getting there, that's the most important thing. We talk? All right, so they're five and a half over the Yankees uh, because the Yankees uh, lost, so we're going to talk about that in just a second. But now, it's like a game of chess. You talk mm -hmm. about the Yankees, the Red Sox, talking about the Red Sox making this move to kind of keep the Yankees at bay here. Right. They mm -hmm. went out and got Zach Britton. But now if you're the Yankees, is it even more imperative? We'll get to the highlight in just a second. More imperative for the Yankees to go out there and try and get more starting pitching? Yes, and, and they've been talking, Eric, about a number of different names. Cole Hamels has been on their list. Jay Happ has been on their list. I think that I'll be stunned if we're here after 4 p.m. Eastern time on July 31st and the Yankees have not added a legitimate number three or better starting pitcher. Because they know, Eric, we talked about this yeah. before, about the way that the standings look right now. There's a good chance they've got to play in that wild card game. And if they win it, they're going to play the Red Sox again. And they're going to have to do that without Severino starting game one or two. They've got to find somebody that can start game one or two of that series at Fenway Park who you feel confident in. And that's got to be somebody like a Jay Happ who's maybe had some good numbers there in the American League East. Or you don't go with a starter in that second game and you go with a an opener. Opener. Right? It, an opener and then throw the whole bullpen, success, right? right? I mean, that's... You know, you never know. I mean, obviously, you probably don't do that. Look at I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here until we pass the trade deadline. Degrom. Oh, yeah, yeah it's well, a great idea. I'm Everybody's gonna keep saying it. I'm gonna keep well, saying it. And, and, 